Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's get this. Energy is wild, Taurus. It's like a lot of seven of swords energy. Five of swords, all this sneaky shit. Okay, I just saw the page of wands, but it kind of came out like in a weird way. So I, it's not upright or, there, there it is again. Page of Wands, okay. Okay, let's get in this. So we got Fire at the Foundation. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. There's definitely an energy of newness. Okay, let's keep going. Tower, Aries, Energy at the Sacral. After that, wow. The Moon at the Soul of the Plexus. Okay, Cancer Energy, Aries Energy, and then we got all three fire on the table. Okay, Eight of Wands at the heart, fire energy against Sag energy in particular. Some, it's like, okay. It's like you've had this new start, right? After like this horrible destruction of this like foundational sort of thing that it could have been a living situation relationships um but something post all this like you're sort of like in the clear now you're starting to put your life back together something now is starting to illuminate right it's almost like the people you were dealing with you're starting to see their true colors and their true nature surrounding this situation there was almost like a, an unsure energy that you had, like if you were seeing things correctly. Pages everywhere, guys. I, got a, I just saw the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. It's like... Oh, you know what? So I was just saying in the Aries reading, in the Leo reading, how it's like a judgment day right now. I have this going on in my own life. Um, and it's for you guys too. So... What this is to me is like, you've gotten yourself away, you've gotten yourself to safety, and now it's like all those people that were opposing you, it's like they're starting to squirm. And you're really starting to see people for their true colors. Like, it's just, it's just coming out of the woodworks. And this information is coming down the pipe to you, right? Okay, what else? What else? The Hierophant at the throat. Taurus energy. So, this is you and your power, Taurus. It's like, you see this though, and I feel like you guys have had major calibrations, especially if you've been doing your work. Um, well, no, you guys have had calibrations because you've been doing your work, rather. Five of Cups, Third Eye. So this is like all this stuff you're leaving behind. You're seeing things for what they truly are. It's just this disappointed energy around like what's been illuminated. It's like, I can't believe this. Four of Swords at the Crown, right? After all this like deep reflection and meditation and just really getting back to yourself, you're able to almost... It's like you've gathered yourself and now you're able to sit in it all and be like, wait a second. Like I just saw a bunch of detectives inside a room and you know when they put all the stuff on the wall and then they get all the string and they try to like put together the story? This is what I'm seeing, but that's like your mind. Like you're putting everything together now. Like the big blown out picture of what you went through. And I feel like you're starting to see that there was a lot more people involved than you actually knew. It was like some conspiracy behind the scenes. Okay, so I just saw the devil and the seven of cups. Yeah, there's an energy you just don't know, like, who you can trust now, for sure. Okay, I just saw the lover and the queen of wands. Because I feel like you're afraid of that. You're afraid of like what you might bring in and if you'll get stuck in the cycle again. Aquarius energy at the foundation. Star card. So this is stars been coming out a lot today. 
it's like you're in that energy and it's like you're sifting through the lake. It's like a draining of the lake. You're like, okay, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to throw that out. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to throw that out. This is where you are right now, right? Okay, so I just saw the four of wands, which is all about victories, but it came out reversed. So I feel like this is a lack of victories you're seeing with any of these people in your past. Okay, so let's keep going here. King of Pentacles reversed. He just came out in the Aries reading as well. So King of Pentacles reversed is like uh, just, uh, it's like a, it's like a very, very, well, it's just, this is just like a complete scumbag is basically what it is. It's somebody who's real jealous, um, this kind of person, right? Like a con man kind of energy. Like King of Swords reversed is con man bribery kind of energy. But for some reason, I'm getting that with this, which is why it was so hard for me to say King of Pentacles in reverse, because I want to read it as the King of Swords in reverse. Ah, this just happened in the Aries reading. I read this like King of Swords. And the reason why is because this person is, a, is actually a King of Swords, but they're posing as a King of Pentacles like... Yeah, I could do this, this, and that for you, and blah, 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 blah. But really, they're fucking nothing. They're just a complete, like... This is the kind of person who will, like, rent a room in, like, their friend's house. And when their friend's out of town, they'll... They'll like say, oh yeah, those are all my cars. This is all my stuff, right? It's just this, I don't know, man. Just a real uh, snaky energy to try and get what they want. I don't know why this is coming up in your reading right now, Taurus. But I feel like this is what you've been dealing with in some capacity. Just a snakish energy. Eight of Swords. Underneath the moon. So this is all this illumination coming to surface and now you sitting in it but i feel like you know you do have to sit in it for a minute but you need to pull yourself out of there too eight of swords so aquarius energy energy um you know it's there's no reason to avoid these emotions just feel them get through it and and move move on from it you know you want to dead this cycle So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you just need to let yourself feel the emotions of this, whatever this is. Because there's some sort of a lesson in there. It's like inside of feeling inside that, see this is all about create a mental prison you create yourself, mental anxiety, right? But I feel like for some reason, it's like they need you just to go in there and feel a touch of that, because what is going to happen when you're in that energy, right? Like, oh, I put myself here. I can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. Something's illuminated and you realize you don't have to be there, right? You have to feel the energy so you know what you're dealing with. Ace of Swords underneath that Eight of Wands. Devil, Capricorn energy underneath the Hierophant. Wow. This is basically, well, not basically, this is literally spirit pointing out a demon to you. Saying, my child, that is a demon. You need to cut them out now. But let me go ahead and remind you and show you what that demon does to your life. So it's like they sit you in this energy and they're like, child, do you see what's going on here? And you're like, yes, I see. Okay. Right? It's this kind of thing. Like, I feel like this is somebody who could have been heavily manipulated. Capricorn, so you, Capricorn devil energy. So you could be dealing with a cap um, or not. It doesn't really matter. Two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is this whole like now somebody just feeling like, oh my God, it's too much almost. It's like an energy of too much. Like who have I been dealing with? What is this? Five of wands at the crown underneath the four of swords. Wow. So I feel like as illumination is happening, wow, and there's the king of swords right there. As illumination is happening, you're seeing this energy just really, really start to get angsty, to say the least. 
it doesn't like Taurus that you're up leveling and seeing this and putting this place in Taurus. I feel like you guys are trying to understand, right? Because you guys are like that fixed energy. So it's an energy of like, well, wait a second, but why was that like that, right? Why was this like that? It's like you want to sort of, because you guys want to get all your facts straight before you move on, right? You're a fixed energy. So you don't like having to like do all this, you know, uh, ripping up of foundations and all this stuff. You guys want to be comfortable and sit in your abundance and that's it. So when this happens, it's just, it's a major fucking inconvenience, isn't it? But it happens to all of us. But also, that's the lesson in all of this. Because you're that energy, it's like spirit wants you to go through some of this energy. So it kind of like hardens your, hardens your shell a little bit. You know, so try and see the gifts in this. You are getting away or going to get away from this. You just need to keep your wits about you. And really, the only communication you need to be happening or having the only communication you need to have in your life right now is with source energy with god that's it just ask god and ask for the signs and i just got a message to watch your watch your drinking i don't know who that's for um these energies will drive a person to drink i'm sure Okay, but it's not going to help. It just makes things worse and it just prolongs things, guys. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave this here. If you guys want a personal, hit me up. It's all in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, thank you for your donations. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.